Sports Network. And we're in for the start of the boys race of the NHC Conference. We've got a gun up. And we're underway. The boys NHC Varsity Conference race is underway. And it'll be a shootout. Homestead and Carroll. And perhaps Belmont as we get this thing underway. And of course everyone from the NHC Conference is here. Norwell looks like we got a leader from Norwell High School coming to the front of the pack here as they head to the first turn. Now it's Belmont, the leader from Belmont High School. There's James Martin, and Brad Hess up front, Andrew McLean, Cody Mullins up front as they head around the corner here. We are at the 38 second mark in the race, the group from Columbia City there. As a runner from Belmont out to the early lead, James Martin in pursuit. And Brad Hess in fifth position. As they head around the corner, we'll take a break, go to another part of the course, You're watching Youth Sports on the Youth Sports Network. Our race leader from the host high school, Decatur, Indiana, Belmont High School. And the leader of the boys' race has now changed. We are at the 231 mark in the race, and the leader is James Martin. And uh, we would expect that he will be our eventual winner. Brad Hess in third now, and a Belmont runner in second, as Martin looks very comfortable up front. 250 mark in the race, more than a half mile into this 3.1 mile 5K race. Here's Martin in the lead by about 15 meters. And Belmont and then Brad Hess, Cody Mullins and Andrew McLean from Homestead in fourth and fifth position. And another Carroll and Norwell runner, Belmont in white. A couple of Homestead guys coming through. Connor O'Shaughnessy. As we are at the 320 mark now in the race. As the rest of the boys come through, there's a couple from Norwell. Three thirty-two mark in the race. Guys from New Haven. We'll take a break. Go to another part of the course. You're watching Youth Sports on the Youth Sports Network. They'll disappear for about seven minutes into the woods. And here's our race leader, James Martin, at the eight forty-seven mark. He has put the big hurt on the field already, as he is. 75 meters in front of second position and teammate Brad Hess. They have wasted the rest of the field right now. Here's Martin in the lead at the 904 mark. And he looks very comfortable. And we come back to Brad Hess. In second position by about 80 meters. Carroll one and two in this thing. And very strong. The Belmont runner who previously had the lead has now fallen back and is about 200 meters behind the leader. And Cody Mullins on his tail from Homestead. Here's third and fourth position. Andrew McLean in fifth position in the NAC Boys Varsity Conference race. And there's a runner from Norwell High School. So the leaders have really spread this thing out. We're now at the 10.02 mark in the race. And we're still looking at the top 10 here. Homestead looked to be pretty well positioned, as is Carroll. Go with them, Max! Belmont with a couple guys back here. Could be well positioned also. Could be a shootout up front. Here's Connor O'Shaughnessy from Homestead. And the rest of the group. Ten thirty-seven on the clock. So wind picking up the Temperature about 50, 52 degrees, overcast, not a bit of sun. It drizzled a little bit during the girls' varsity race. No rain now, very good conditions for a 5K race. Um, most of the guys aren't wearing anything other than their 
singlet and their shorts, so it's uh, just about perfect for running. We'll take a break, go to another part of the course, the finish line, watching youth sports on the Youth Sports Network. It is spread out in the boys' varsity race today. And here's our race leader, James Martin, as he takes a moment to look around behind him. He can coast in. We're at the 15-17 mark of the race. And he has 120 meters on second position, but it's a teammate of his, so uh, no harm, no foul here. James Martin will finish strong. NHC Conference champion James Martin is coming to the line. He'll be under 16 minutes. There's a new sheriff in town from Carroll High School. Good job. Good job. And he hits the line in 15.42, a great time, even, even by the James Martin standard, that is a great time. Here's Brad Hess from Carroll High School. Carroll's going to go 1-2 on October 3rd, 2009. Here's Brad Hess as he comes to the line. He's got 120 meters on third and fourth position in 16.02. And here's third and fourth position, Cody Mullins, Andrew McLean. Come on, Evan! And a runner from Belmont, the early leader, is held back to fifth position. Here's Mullins. Yeah, Cody! And McLean. Mullins and McLean coming across. 16.24 on the clock. Great times for those two guys also. And uh, so Carroll goes 1-2. Homestead goes, uh, I believe, 3-4. And... Uh, another Belmont versus Homestead setting here. The Belmont runner prevailing. That, that could be very important in the way this thing scores out. 17.46 on the clock. A runner from Carroll High School. Cal Norwell and another runner from Homestead. As we come to the line, we're right at the finish line at the boys' bars to meet. 18 minutes on the clock, so all those guys are under 18 for a 5K race. Here's another runner from Homestead, although I think their first five are in the barn. Here's a runner from Columbia City. And the rest of the group at the 18-14 mark. NHC Conference Meet Boys Varsity Race. And there's another strong finish. We'll go to the girls' reserve race. You're watching Youth Sports on the Youth Sports Network from Belmont High School. 18:38 on the clock. It'll be Belmont, Homestead, and Carroll vying for this one up front. We'll take a break. You're watching Youth Sports on RunIndiana.com. And we are getting st set for the start of the girls' reserve race at uh, the NHC conference meet at Belmont High School.